Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. It's me, Gian, and sa araw na ito, today, I am going to share with you um, the a sample market survey of how much things cost in Juba as of December 8, 2024. So, I got my money changed at Lily's. Okay, so Lily's is a Chinese owned grocery slash um, dining place and they really serve a nice Chinese food. And usually if you go inside with dollars, um, you could spend dollars there and then you get your change in SSP. There are other cheaper ways of getting your your money change from USD to SSP but Lily's is uh, my favorite because you know what else do I use money for but to eat noodles at Lily's knife noodles at Lily's because that's my favorite so as of yesterday my 100 USD got me 106,000 so 100 USD is equal is equal to 106,000 SSP as of December 7 2023 we're gonna divide this by a hundred and that would mean one thousand zero six zero per u.s dollar get it and i am going to show you what i got for approximately 50 u.s dollars because um let's see i spent nine two two zero zero like $87 yesterday oh my god that's too much money anyway I'm gonna show you what I got yesterday and then I'm just gonna type down below how much it costs in USD because this is a lot of um, calculation um, just remember that the foreign exchange is using black market rate. So this is not your Owanda rate or or um, legal bank rate. This is illegal black market rate. Okay, let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This could still buy me knife noodles this afternoon. So I'm still all good. We're storing it here. There you go. And this is what I got yesterday. Two bags full of stuff. And this is a cookie. And this was the cheapest I found at Lily's the others were like 4,000 SSP and it would be just like one long bar like this one or one one pack like this but this one has 15 packs of 15 packs of um, cookie inside and each pack has two cookies so this is actually my favorite it's it tastes like ginger, obviously. It's a ginger cookie. So it's packed like this one, see? One, two. And uh, I got two of this. The ginger one. And then the coconut one. I've not tasted the coconut one, but... I'm gonna taste it today and then if I like it I'm gonna buy more 
So each box cost 3,700 SSP. Then um, I bought crisps. I was waiting for my driver and he took a long time and actually he never picked me up so I resorted in taking a taxi. The taxi ride was 5,000 SSP. Okay, so each pack of this potato crisp is actually 1,700. 1,700 and 1,700 SSP. So I ate this and then I bought Novida, which is one of my favorite um, soda here and it tastes like pineapple. And this one cost 500 SSP. My this Kenyan Chevda is um, 5,600, and it's uh, one of my favorite snacks. Actually, it's very delicious. And this masala stick is um, 2,600 SSP. One of my favorite snacks here as well. Now this bag is full of coffee. Okay, so this is from Java House and it's ground Rwanda Lake Kivu and uh, this is ground coffee already because um, I'm not a big fan of beans so this one is 53 oh it's 13,000 300 for each and then I've got four of this 13,300 one two three and four so this one is for Mar who takes care of my condo in Cebu and then this one is gonna be for my aunt my tita Alia, she likes this and then this one is um for uh me <laughs> and then this one is for a, a gift for a friend and then i have to go and rush there or go go to lily's again this afternoon and buy one uh or two two yeah i need to buy two one for my professor and my masters and then another one as a gift because there's like a gift giving um party uh, uh during our graduation so i need to buy a gift for that event and then this one is um hadero which is an ethiopian coffee and uh, Hadero is 8,700, so it is cheaper. And this one is co Coffee Africano, uh, 6,900. And um, both of this, I'm putting this in, in my condo unit. So actually anyone who, who stays at my condo unit um, has free Ethiopian African coffee. Hey, you know that uh, coffee beans originated from Ethiopia and they call it Buna? Yeah, you should try Ethiopian coffee. It's like espresso. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. And then I bought um, Imperial Soap because I love the smell. And, you know, like if I have clothes, I put this in between my clothes just to freshen my clothes or perfume my clothes. So each one of this is 1,100. Okay, I'm back from my rendezvous. Rendezvous? Rendezvous this afternoon. And I spent $32 again. I don't have to I don't think I have the time to look for a gift in the mall and even if I have the time just thinking about a gift is it takes a lot of energy so I decided I'm just gonna buy some coffee from here and 
and I I hope this is not beans. Oh, I got the beans. Okay, so I got ground coffee, Java from Java House again, and um, this is a Uganda Kigezi special. Um, sweet, citrus, and lively, and this is actually a dollar or two cheaper. Actually, yeah, it's a dollar or two cheaper than in Lily's. I got this in Juba Town. It's eleven thousand six hundred, and also I saw powdered coffee. And it's called Frisco Granules, Incense Chicory and Coffee. And for 100 grams, so this is 4,500 SSP. And actually, you know what? The one in a small can like this one was at 6,000. So it was like 2,000 SSP more expensive but yeah so having it in this packaging was really way 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 much cheaper so i'm gonna do a review if i like that or not because so far my favorite powdered coffee is dormant i should have done a review on that one but maybe for next time there's no dormant around this time and that's it um i hope you like this kind of uh, shopping experience and that's it bye bye